we're going to be having the umbrellas handy tomorrow. It was really a nice day today. Not only the state fair, but we had the Peach Festival going on, Jazz Fest going on, Arts, Beats and Eats, plenty of things to take part in today. Those are going on through the weekend, but we're going to have to watch the radar starting tonight for a few possible showers and thunderstorms. Exact track 4D ground clutter right now just to the north of Waterford around the Doppler radar site, but thunderstorms off to the north and west are starting to weaken over the past 30 to 45 minutes right around land down 69 towards Charlotte and then working over toward Greenville and Grand Rapids as well. I am going to hold on to an isolated shower as we head through the overnight hours tonight. Better chances for some of those scattered showers and storms work into the region as we head into tomorrow. 76 right now here in Detroit, 68 working in Ann Arbor, 72 in Port Huron, as well as over in Adrian. Still dealing with the west, but shifting to a north northeast wind. That means our frontal boundary is on top of the region and will slowly move through through overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. You can see any thunderstorm activity by 7, 8 o'clock this evening starting to congeal into a blob of thunderstorms right around Lansing. Other than that, with daytime heating, we lose the instability for the thunderstorm threat, at least for the most part tonight. We've got that frontal boundary moving right into the region off to the north, and then you can see that counterclockwise spin right around St. Louis. That's a developing area of low pressure that will move off to the north and east and interact with that frontal boundary and keep Keep us on the active side of the forecast over the next 48 hours. So outside of an isolated thunderstorm tonight, we are dry and will bring in scattered showers and thunderstorms Sunday afternoon and into Sunday evening. Five o'clock tomorrow evening. Don't cancel the plants tomorrow. Just have that umbrella handy from time to time and we'll keep the chance of showers in the forecast as we head into early next week as well on Monday. Seven o'clock Monday morning. Cloud cover sticks around a few isolated showers as we head throughout the entire day today. Ooh. Somehow we did not mean to move that. Let's see. There we go. And then we keep the chance of a few showers into the forecast as we head into Monday afternoon into early Monday evening. But I do think we break up that cloud cover and we bring in some late day sunshine as that frontal boundary moves off to the east and then drier weather moves in. We'll keep a mixture of sunshine and clouds into the forecast as we head into early on Tuesday morning. Outside of an isolated storm tonight, we will keep that cloud cover around. Mostly cloudy tonight, a little more warm and humid as well. 68 overnight tonight with that southwest wind at about three to six miles an hour. Hold on to the umbrella for the rest of the Labor Day weekend. Upper 70s, not only tomorrow, but into Monday as well. It's not going to be an all day washout either day, but we will have showers and a few storms tomorrow and then a few lingering rain showers holding on into our Monday as that frontal boundary pulls off to the east. Dry weather starts to move in on Tuesday. We'll go filtered sunshine. Temperatures slow to warm up as we go into Tuesday as well. Lower 80s by Tuesday afternoon. Right now, high pressure builds in as we head into the majority of next week. Expect lots of sunshine Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Temperatures slowly warming into the mid 80s. Before then, we bring a little more cloud cover in. Models going back and forth right now on any rain chances as we go into early next weekend. So we'll keep an eye on that, but we'll just right now keep it dry and high temperatures still holding a little bit above average into the mid 80s for the first half of next weekend. So all in all, not a bad day today. Just grab the umbrella and hold on to it for the rest of the weekend.